Hey, hey, welcome back to Undefined Therapy. Today we are doing a grounding necklace. If you want to know what a grounding necklace is and how you can get your hands on one, then I definitely encourage you to keep on watching. As I just shared, we're gonna be making and looking at a grounding necklace today. I decided to do a grounding necklace because a necklace is something that you can wear anytime, anywhere, and no one has to know that you're actually doing a therapeutic technique. You see how I got y'all? I got y'all. No one wants to be walking around, you know, opening up, hey, let me, let me get this so I can show y'all. No one wants to be walking around you know, smelling an essential oil to calm them down if they're having an anxious moment or if they're struggling to be present. No, no one wants to do that. I mean, you can, you can, the option's there. The option's there. But if you're looking for a second option, I definitely thought a necklace would be so good to use. So let me tell you what the necklace is made of and then let me tell you what a grounding exercise is and then we'll put it all together and create a grounding necklace. So this necklace is made of a lava stone. Let me see, like, I'll give you guys close-up shots, but this part of the necklace is a lava stone. Lava stones are known for their spiritual and emotional healing properties. You know, I can leave some more information down below, but it's a very special rock that can be infused with essential oils, which we're gonna do later on in the video. So to add a little fuel to it, let me actually read from a website. It says, since lava is known for its grounding qualities, it's wonderful for calming the emotions. In fact, the quality of fire springs from the ground. So in terms of healing gems, this lends itself to a calming but intense energy. There you have it. So that's good stuff, right? Lava stone is good stuff. <laughs> for those who are more spiritual, it says lava stones are fantastic for stabilizing and grounding the root chakra. Chakra, yeah. This is because of the strong connection to the earth and its creation within the center of earth. In folk remedies, it was also given to soldiers to help them remain calm during battle. So that was some information about this wonderful lava stone that I have around my neck. Now for grounding techniques, therapists like to use grounding techniques to help somebody come really into the present and focus so they can manage whatever's going on. So if you struggle with anxiety, you're worrying about the future, the past, maybe an experience that you had that hasn't happened, but it's keeping you away from the present. So your emotions are raising about something that's not occurring now. Having a grounding technique, sometimes counting, and what we're gonna use is essential oil in this lava stone, can help you stay more present and help you kind of manage and mentally focus on the here and now instead of where your mind and emotions are taking you. Now we're gonna put the healing properties of a lava stone and connect them with essential oils to make a grounding technique and create this wonderful necklace right here. So as you can see, I have taken the necklace off and here is the diamond shaped lava stone that I was discussing. I chose lavender because I love the smell. It's not too overpowering and I can use it in the day or night. So if I wanna wear the necklace when I'm going to work or seeing clients, or if I'm out on a date night, I can also use it then. So for you guys out there, find an essential oil that you can tolerate for a long time. So I'm going to drop one to two drops of essential oil. For me, I found that this, that one to two, I usually go to two if I'm gonna use it for the whole day and just one if I'm only gonna be just using it for a couple hours. But you can definitely play around with it for yourself. So after I've taken from my little close up of my workshop, now that I have my necklace, it's been infused with the essential oil, even from this distance right here, like I can smell it and I'm just like, woo <laughs> So I'm gonna put my necklace back on. And you know, you guys, I think this is something really simple. You know, if you're looking for a way to, I'm having a hard time. If you're looking for a way to add some healing and some calmness to you at anywhere, whether it be work, at school, on a lunch date, hanging out with friends, then this is actually what you can use. I'm really struggling with putting this back on, but I'm not, by the time I end this video, I'm gonna, oh, there we go. 
I was just complaining. I got it right then. So, you know, I thought that this would be really cool. If you want to see me try to make other grounding techniques, then you definitely want to subscribe. Also leave comments down below. If you have any questions or just want to engage in dialogue, I'm definitely here for you. My name is Rashonda Carey. I'm a licensed therapist. And on this mental health channel, I help you create your own path toward healthiness with mental health videos. So definitely I will see you next time.